straight white men good for? Straight white men? Yeah. Not a lot. <laughs> We're back here. <laughs> I'm not sorry. You know what? That's a good question. What are straight white men good for? Oppressing women and minorities? Continuing this blatant systemic racism in this country? Absolutely. I'm about to piss off 83% of right-wingers here on YouTube, and frankly, I could care less about the opinions of straight white men. And that's our topic today, my friends. Straight white men. And unfortunately, being part of the straight white man club, I got a couple of things to say to these men. Hold on, let me reiterate that statement. I might look like I'm a prominent member of the straight white man club, but honestly, I have nothing in common with these people. Nothing. Straight white men, which lean mostly conservative, believe that they're the most oppressed people in this country, which by the way, is the biggest crock of dog shit. White people have not will not and never have been oppressed in this country. But I went back to check on our girl Sydney, trying so hard not to have an Australian accent Watson, and I came across this gem. The demonization of straight white men. Oh, how lovely. I can't wait to see where this goes. Asking Britons, are straight white men the problem. Also, if you are new to planet Earth, a Briton is a person from Britain, all of whom may or may not sound like Russell Brand. What is Spain really? It's only something someone made up. Or the crumpling of a chip packet. I'm kidding, obviously. English accents are adorable. Don't yell at me in the comments. Bro, am I tripping? Did she really just say that? You have a muddled Australian accent, which is pretty similar to a British accent, by the way. You are trying so hard to hide your Australian accent because you live in Texas now, and you'd be god if those people found out that you're a foreigner in their country. But hey, look at it this way. You're a white woman, so you're good. The video in question is a young woman named Jess asking a series of people, most of whom are white, about what straight white men are good for, if straight white men are important, and if they occupy too many roles in government and so on. And the answers are about what you'd expect. What's a straight white man good for? Straight white men? Yeah. Not a lot. I would bet all of the things I have owned and will own that this woman is married to a straight white man. And so what if she was? My wife's married to a straight white man. She still thinks that we suck balls. But I would f die if it came out that this woman had a Latino or Hispanic husband. I guess she'd be broke, Sydney. Do you think straight white men are important? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> We're all f***ing trash. I wonder, is it that the Irish hate straight white men? Or just themselves. Ooh, I am on one today. Did you see that? These get aroused by insulting other people. They literally take pleasure in that Watch her again as she finishes that statement when she starts to metaphorically rub her own on camera. What are straight white men good for? Uh, being rude and um, making you feel uncomfortable. Are straight white men important? I mean, they think they're very important. Um, you know, they're just as important as everyone else, but I do, sometimes I get a bit inflated sense of <laughs> self. Do you think they're important? No. So what would you say they're good for? Um, I don't know. I mean, they've got value, obviously, but the problem is that it's, it's been them exclusively, so they're, they're, they're good at things, but just not everything all the time. Groundbreaking. Do you think they're good for in society? If they give them their bank card, that's pretty good. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. So they're utter trash unless they're giving you their bank card. Okay. Don't expect any thoughtful feedback from me about this because I just, I hate all these people. Oh, don't worry, Sydney. They don't like you either. They actually think that you're an abomination, but you know what? I'll let them express that to you. It also served to remind me that while almost every group in society experiences criticism and ridicule in one form or another, some of that same criticism and ridicule directed towards some groups of people is more socially acceptable than others. Straight white men. Is that the group that you're passive aggressively referring to? I have a feeling that uh, Miss Watson here is about to dive deep on that white man. 
ride the living out of it. In recent years, there really does appear to have been a ramping up in negative commentary not only about the white population, but about straight white males generally. You're all bad. We've gotten to a point where it's almost normal to casually mock and degrade this group without anybody even raising an eyebrow. And it rolls me around to the question of why is this okay and how did we get here? Why should we raise an eyebrow? Towards what? Talking shit about white dudes being scumbags? White dudes have been controlling this world since the infancy of man. Please spare me the f***ing wine party. If Sydney only understood that her rights as a woman have been taken away on June 24th, 2022, which I believe that she has no clue what that date is and could care f less. But if you enjoyed the video so far, my friends, please turn that thumb blue. Let's get this video to more leftists and progressives. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, my friends. Some of you might recall in the not too distant past, Joe Rogan finding himself in the news yet again for making a statement about straight white men. During a 2021 podcast episode, Rogan made the following comments. You can never be woke enough. That's the problem. It keeps going. It keeps right. going further and further and further down the line. And if you get to the point where you capitulate, where you agree to all these demands, it will eventually get to straight white men are not allowed to talk. Right. Because it's your privilege to express yourself when other people of color have been silenced throughout history. It, it will be, you're not allowed to go outside because so many people were imprisoned for so many years. I mean, I'm not joking. No, I, I know, I know. It really will get there. It's that crazy. See, I... I told you, I told you guys, these people are terrified of the minority majority shift. White fear is an absolute real thing and Joe Rogan just proved it on camera. Dude looked mortified saying this shit because he actually believes that white dudes are about to not be able to talk. They won't be able to go outside. Joe Rogan, shut the f up please. You are getting paid what, a hundred million dollars a year to talk? Trust me, Cupcake. They're not shutting you up anytime soon. Believe that. Believe that. You want to ask somebody about how it feels to be silenced? Ask indigenous women. I bet you money they'll tell you exactly how it feels to be silenced in this country. They suggested that this group does not experience any kind of bias, discrimination, and isn't under attack in any capacity. Or in the very least, not in the same capacity as minorities in Western countries or other ethnic groups around the world. Wow, let's give Sydney a round of applause for actually saying the truth. Straight white men don't feel the same oppression and mistreatment as black people, Latino, Latinos, Hispanics, Asian people, indigenous people. They don't, Sydney. Yet, yeah, tell me how oppressed you really are, straight white men. Tell me again how hard it was to get that job that you aren't even qualified for, but you got because of the color of your skin. Very American thing to say. All being white today, not as easy as it used to be, acknowledges the power and privilege of being a white man. Mistake often made by mediocre American men is confusing oppression for opposition. Do you realize that white men make up 30% of the population, but 65% of the elected officials? But we're oppressed. When were white men ever denied their right to vote or considered to be property or three-fifths of a purse? Statues have ever been built or torn down that celebrate the theft and murder of white men. Holidays do we celebrate in honor of the genocide of white men. What books have been banned that teach the history of white men's oppression? Let me put it to you like this. Mediocrity isn't celebrated, it looks like oppression. Mediocrity is questioned, it looks like opposition. Oh, and my whole point goes over your head? Well, you look like an American. Here's a dude spitting the most facts about straight white men. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Nah, I'm just kidding, man. But where's the lie here? See, before she played that section of the video, she said that society made it okay for straight white men to be made fun of for things that they can't control, like their looks and the way they dress or how they don't comb their hair. But no, seriously, you're right. It is not right to make fun of anyone for their looks. Except maybe for Steve Bannon. Dude. Moisturize. Moisturize! What is white male privilege? It's muscling your way through a group of pedestrians while you're staring at your phone, while everyone else is waiting patiently for the light to change. You step into the street, look at the cars, look at the light, look at the cars, look at the light. The second that that light turns yellow, you're gonna be the first person across the street because you're so important. So I'm out taking pictures and uh, you'll never guess what I found. It's honestly kind of rare to find. So if you look over here, 
It's a gaggle of straight white men. Old straight white men. <laughs> Yo, that is the first time this chick made me laugh. And it was with a TikTok video to prove your point on how straight white men are oh so oppressed. <laughs> oh man, this is priceless. This is priceless. They're demonstrated in all sorts of media and entertainment, and to cap it all off, anything offered in defense of straight white men is immediately shot down, with even more articles and more media personalities doubling down on the negative anti-white male rhetoric. Just like when Joe Rogan made his comments, and even more recently when Candace Owens made her own statements on the issue. Actually, and I will stand by this as much as I possibly can, and I will be the loudest voice, the actually worst thing to be in this society, if one thing I would not want to be, is a straight white male. For some reason, that's considered problematic, right? You have to be something. That's why people lie. They're lying on college applications. They're like, okay, I'm white, uh, but I'm also trans. And you're like, what? Why are you pretending? It's because, oh, I don't want people to think I'm too normal, right? And people, you know, they're just trying to find something that makes them not white. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the f*** is that? Sir, jelly donut, sir! A jelly donut? Sir, yes, sir! How did it get here? Sir, I took it from the mess hall, sir! Is Chow allowed in the barracks, private pie? Sir, no, sir! Are you allowed to eat jelly donuts, private pie? Sir, no, sir! Some may turn their nose up at this, but some of what she expressed here is actually correct. In mid-2022, Ted Cruz even called out the State Department for discriminating against people with disabilities and straight white men in their hiring practices. The email says that hiring practices have developed inside the State Department so that, and I'll quote, that certain candidates could not be hired because they have a disability. They are white men. They are straight white men. Man, what a great political figure to add to your video to prove your bullshit point. And I bet you love Teddy, don't you, Miss Watson? That's your senator down in good old Texas. The same senator that left you all to freeze in 2021 while he got his warm in Cancun. In response to the defense of straight white men, the arguments are often the same. Some people believe that the criticism of straight white men is justified because they have historically held a disproportionate amount of power and privilege. They still do. White men control f***ing everything. The 1% on top? Almost all white guys. 64% of politicians in Congress, all white guys. 73% of the population in the United States is white, so I have no idea what you're trying to prove here. The argument isn't really an argument, Sydney. It's a statistical fact. And you just don't want to believe the truth because the truth pisses you people off. Doesn't it? There is also the belief that straight white men are one of the most prominent groups in Western countries, and as such, cannot be the subjects of discrimination because they control everything. Yo, you just did it again! You literally just answered your own question! These people are so deep into the sunken place, they can't even differentiate the truth from bullshit. And when the truth actually smacks them in the face, they take it as an insult. Sydney, listen to me, Cupcake. You know the truth. You said it yourself twice. White men are not and will never be oppressed and it's hilarious to make fun of them. That's what you get for almost exterminating a group of people, for colonizing half the planet, for making a certain group of people work for almost 400 years for free to build every god building, government building in this country. And now you're using those same exact building that those people build to make laws to oppress those people that build those buildings. That is why we make fun of straight white men. Something I personally find so sad about all of this is that it dismisses the experience of an entire group of people all of whom are individuals with very different life experiences. No one is taking that away. We're just saying that you cannot say that straight white men are oppressed when straight white men are the oppressors. Don't hide that. Don't glorify straight white men. They've been glorified for millennia. The truth will always be in the forefront and if straight white men get pissed at the truth, sorry, not sorry. Here's my question for you guys and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think straight white men are demonized in the United States? Please, leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you there. I can't even say this with a straight face. Demonized white men. 
Okay. But if you believe that children are being preyed upon by drag queens, then check out that video right here where I prove to you that they are not preying on your children. And if you can, please support the channel on Patreon. Come join my community on Discord. I will leave those links right here and in the description below. I hope to see you there. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly leftist videos. And I am out.